it's the last California vlog. We spent the last three days of the trip in Los Angeles. The first place we went on Thursday was Fuel Industries to meet with the director of brand partnerships there, Sam Levi. Sam spent two undergraduate years at Washington and Lee before moving to New York and finally to LA. If you really want to get into this world, you need to go to, to Los Angeles. My favorite part about meeting with Sam was mainly learning about how many different paths and directions that you can take within the marketing industry. It's not all just about making ads or making commercials, um, but there are like there are real connections and real messages that are being formed and passed along. So it was really cool. I mean, we did hundreds and hundreds of these campaigns, but when the head of social media at Microsoft, social media at Microsoft, was like, "This is amazing. Is this is really what's happening. Is this is really where the kids are these days. That's where they're at. It's where they're going." She was like, well, what do we do next? After lunch with Sam, we went to Sony and met with Marie Jacobson. She oversees programming for Sony Pictures Television. Marie gave us the rundown of the company's very complex layout and kind of told us just what her job is all about. She had more energy than anyone that we met on this whole trip and probably anyone I've met in my whole life. So she was just really awesome to talk to and just hear about how excited she was about everything she does in her job. Once we got into the Sony lot, it was really difficult to document everything because they don't allow you to film almost anywhere, um, and they don't even let you take pictures in some places, so bear with me. Sony is really different and interesting because they don't have their own networks, so everything they do relies really heavily on partnerships. Sony is all over the entertainment industry with projects in movies, TV, video games, music, you name it. Then we were lucky enough to get a tour of the Sony lot. We'll be walking around our current lot, which is about 44 and a half acres. Uh, when MGM was here, they were actually the most powerful studio in the entire world. It was over 400 acres. We saw Main Street, where they used some buildings to shoot outside for television. We saw famous cars for movies like Ghostbusters, 21 Jump Street, and Talladega Nights. And we saw the van from Breaking Bad, as well as Brian Cranston's parking spot. We saw Adam Sandler's golf carts and where he works. We saw from the outside the stage where they film Wheel of Fortune, and then we actually got to go inside the stage where they film Jeopardy, and we got to see the set and see all of the Emmys the show has won. I think the show has 31 Emmys, and there were 29 there in this display case. My favorite part of the Sony lot was this huge soundstage that they use to make the music for all kinds of films, from Pixar films to Star Trek, um, and they have a solo booth where tons of artists have recorded, like Beyonce. Um, sadly, we couldn't take any pictures in there, but it was really cool. Friday, we went to the Fox lot. Again, I couldn't film, and they were even more strict on pictures, so I only have a few cell phone pictures, but it was still amazing. We met with Grant Gish, who is a WNL alum and now the VP of animation. He works on animated shows like Bob's Burgers and a show that's premiering early next year called Border Town. He showed us a rough copy of what will eventually become the pilot, and that was hilarious, so be on the lookout for that. With him was Mark Ambrose, who is VP of Drama Development. They explained, or tried to explain to us, how Fox works. There's the Fox Studios, where they come up with and create the TV shows, and then there's the Fox Networks, um, who are the, the channels that put the TV shows on. So not every show made at the studio is on the networks, and not everything on the networks was made by Fox, um, but they work together a lot more than they work with anyone else. Then we got to tour the Fox lot, which I personally actually enjoyed more than the Sony lot. They have a big New York street that they use to film exteriors, mostly for New York, but also um, I think parts of it have been LA and places in Asia. They're blank buildings that are really versatile in what you can add and use to decorate, but overall it kind of looks like New York. Um, and so my favorite building there was the bar that was McLaren's Pub in How I Met Your Mother. I also saw the sets for New Girl and Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Um, and there were a lot of little Easter eggs around, like this bench from Modern Family. After the tour, we ate at Moe's and went over to the movie side of things, where we met Keith Rao. He is also a WNL alum and the director of marketing for 20th Century Fox. He's worked on lots of movies for Fox over the last seven or eight years, including recently X-Men, and most importantly, the new Peanuts movie. It was really cool to come back to Peanuts after this long of our trip and get some inside information. Hearing from Jeannie Schultz and everyone at Creative Associates just how important it is that this movie stays true to the original ideas of the Peanuts comic strip. It was really awesome and really refreshing to see that the people at Fox care just as much and they've been working so hard to bring these 2D characters to life in a 3D way without losing what they're supposed to look like. They've done an incredible job at rebooting the franchise for a new audience, but also staying true to that original view that Schultz had. 
Friday night, we got to go into Hollywood and see the Walk of Fame. Here are some of my favorites, including Charles Schultz. Saturday morning, we went to Knott's Berry Farm. The theme park started as an actual berry farm, and then so many people were waiting in line for so long to get the food, that little attraction started to pop up, and it became known as the first theme park. There we met with a merchandising executive who's in charge of buying everything that goes into the gift stores, including all of Camp Snoopy. That afternoon, we went to Disneyland. This was probably my favorite part of the entire trip. Besides being really fun, the theme parks were also the perfect way to end the trip that started with the museums of the same franchises. Over the course of a week, we got to see the whole story from the history of these franchises to learning kind of how they're working now and how the entertainment industry works as a whole. And then we got to end it with the theme parks, which are some of the biggest entities that these franchises put out. The very first thing our Disney Museum tour guide talked about was the light and fire station in Disneyland and how Walt would turn it on whenever he was in the park. And then that same, that actual light in the actual firehouse was the last thing that we saw on our way out of Disneyland late, late Saturday night. Now we're back in Virginia where it's rainy and we're sleepy, but we're worlds more knowledgeable about peanuts and the entertainment industry as a whole. Overall, it was just an amazing week.